Well, as some of you may have noticed by the title of this video, we're on a mission today. Uh, one of my favorite things to do in skating is actually core wheels. And just the way things have gone this year, I've actually only cored one set of wheels in America. I caught a few back in New Zealand, but that doesn't really count. So today we have a, a lineup of some wheels that are pretty small. I've almost called them, but I haven't quite got around to finishing them off yet. So I thought today we'll try and see if we can get all four of them done. So first up, we've got some orangutan skiffs that are very small. They're going to be really fun to just finish off. I've got some Bustin' Swifts here. These are like an OG wheel. You don't really see them around. These poop thing, they're going to be fun. Got some seismic urchins in the transparent blue thing. They're really close to being done. Really like these wheels, looking forward to finishing them off. Then last but not least, I've got some Blank Wheelco slates. Uh, these things are kind of thrashed, like I cut the lips off. They're, I think they might be ovaled. They're going to be a nightmare to core. Let's see if we can do them all. Something important when you're coring your wheels is your kingpin clearance. You gotta keep in mind that if your kingpin get, touches the ground, it's gonna start scraping. And some trucks, the kingpin actually scrapes before the wheels even get close to coring. That's why I ride Valkyrie trucks. Valkyrie trucks have a really good kingpin clearance and they allow me to core wheels even at a low degree rear base plate angle. These tiny little O-Tang wheels, they're not gonna be a problem for me to core. No worries, my kingpin's not even gonna scrape. Slidey than the last wheels I was riding. They feel really hard. Let's finish them. Right, uh, so this is kind of a little added bonus feature. Obviously, like coring wheels, this many wheels in one session. We're not trying to, I'm not hiking this road. We're gonna drive runs. Emily's gonna drive me some runs. She's a boss. Um, but when we core wheels, we like to play this game, which is like how many runs until the wheels are clean cored. And we both take a guess, and then I guess whoever's the closest wins. Um, what are you guessing for these O-Tangs, Emily? Uh, eight. Eight runs to the core. I'm gonna say 10. They're tiny, but they have a little bit of durability to them. So I'm gonna say 10. Uh, yeah, we're gonna skate and we'll let you know how many runs we get in. That was run number four. Uh, it's time for some rotato potato. This was my biggest wheel, and now it's my smallest wheel. Got a bit of Coney Joni action. Some frilly trilly on that inner lip, so we'll rotate them, put them back in the right order. Just keep doing heel sides because that's all I'm good at. And then we're going to call them in 10 runs. Eight. Skiffs are kind of skits. I gotta rotate again. That one's almost done. Run number seven. For those at home who have no idea what's going on, it is important when you call your wheels you do it cleanly. Some people will tell you it doesn't matter. They're idiots. You have to clean core all your cores. Clean coring is when you like call the whole wheel all the way around so it looks pretty. Why would you put something on a shelf on display if it doesn't look pretty? It's got to be clean. You want to clean core your wheels? You got to rotate them, man. I got to rotate my wheels. We got them, boys. All four clean. Ten runs. <laughs> Eight and one. Emily zero. That's it. That's it. Skiffs are skits. Skiffs are done. Next up, Bustin' Swifts. Let's call them.
he's a poopy thing is uh we're gonna do some drive runs see how long they last so i guess i i better make my guess i'm gonna say five runs top to bottom what do you think emily are they gonna core just here or is it yeah, the coil will be in the middle and they'll be like all Coney Journey like they are. Mm. You said five? I'm saying five. I'll say six. Alright. Let's get to it then. Damn, both times I film with holding the camera, I get a car in the straight. It's a little lame. That time we rotate a potato and looks like I'm not winning this contest because I said five and we've got a good few more in them still so yep I think these are done What do you think? They look pretty clean. That was eight full runs plus that slide. This one's not. Oh, we're gonna count it because I'm lazy. It's gotta be clean. <laughs> I know. Next wheels on the list are these seismic urchins. These have been super fun to skate and I'm really excited to call them. We'll see how many runs they take. Let's do some skateboarding. All right, what's your guess for how many runs on these wheels? Uh, four. Four. My guess is three runs because these are tiny wheels and I think they're nearly done. Those are very thany boys. I'm going to lose. Can I change my guess number? <laughs> or is that against the rules? <laughs> One, two. <laughs> Too. like they're nearly done from that <laughs> like the performance of the wheel changed halfway through the run which is half because of them warming up but also like they're so close to the core now they just got so slidey at the end that was wild i mean it's not even like part of the game anymore like they're done in the next run i think i guess less than you so that will make me win it yeah you guess three i uh, yeah. guess four but no yeah that was kind of crazy
Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. <laughs> that was a wild ride. <laughs> and last but not least on this mission, although probably gonna be the least enjoyable, is uh, these Blank Wheel Slates from Blank Wheel Co. Um, these things are kind of thrash because I was trying to call them at the British Knob Outlaw uh, after the race, the free ride. And I've actually ended up cutting off the lips, which is why they look very strange. And I think a couple of them are like somewhat ovaled. They're big and the lips are all munchy and stuff. This is just going to be a little painful, but hopefully it doesn't take too long. Quite slidey. It actually didn't feel too bad. Way slider than I thought. They're not too oval or anything. I think I think we're gonna make it happen. I think we can do full runs. Just gotta be careful. What's your guess? I'm gonna say eight. I think these are gonna be brutal. Mm, I will say ten. Ten? Alright. Mm. Oh, they wore a whole lot more than I thought they would. You see that? See, it's got like a bird coney joni action, like the frilly bit. Same on the front. In one run. So, I think what was my first guess? Eight. Realistically, it's gonna be like three, maybe four. But I did one run and I gotta rotate now, so. Should we re clock the guesses for funsies? We can reset the guesses. Alright, alright. Starting from zero. Now, how many runs do you think? You go first. Well, you can you can lock in your number because you said three or four. I don't want to take one of those. You pick one. From now, I'm gonna say three. Okay, I'll just I'll go four. All right, Dunzo. The potato has been rotatoed. This one got kind of messed up. I'm not gonna lie. He's kind of messed up. But. We here at CTS. Hold ourselves to a very high standard, and I will clean call this set of blank wheels. Tell that to the Bustins. It's gotta be clean. It's gotta, gotta be clean. clean. Gotta, gotta be clean. clean. Hey. Sh I did a fair bit of damage. Here are one, two, and a half cord. And this one's hanging on a little bit. So anyway, we did two runs on these in the end, which means I win. <laughs> um, but these got kind of skits because they're like kind of half cord and not oval, but like uneven width because of the way I cut them with scissors to cut the lips off. So I just did that big one. I guess I'm gonna I'm gonna risk risk my uh, my personal well-being for the fans <laughs> and do one more to get clean cores. Realistically, it's for Emily because she's telling me I have to make them look pretty for my shelf because I, I did say that about, what, 10 minutes ago in this video, so. We're gonna make them clean. We're, doing a, we're gonna do it right. I did it! Finished them off. Well done. All right, and we'll, we'll be true to our word, or I guess none of this pluralization. I'll be true to my word. I'm gonna put those busts and swifts back on and, and clean them up nicely for you. Yeah, put those back on. Yeah, all right, all right. We're doing it, we're doing it. So this one and this one are basically clean, but the two on the other side have a bit to go, so 
Just gonna do a couple of big kahuna heel sides and then they'll look nice and pretty for the shelf. <laughs> so, we're doing it right, we're doing it right. I gotta figure out how fussy I'm gonna be about this. I'll do one more. Try not to get hurt. Yeah. What do we reckon? <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> I think that's good. I know. Well, um, I'd say it was a pretty successful mission. Managed to clean core all four sets of wheels, um, which is nice. I thought I'd just do a quick little mini wheel coring review of each set. So we'll go in order of how I skated them. Uh, the skiffs, they were uh, kind of scary to core because they're really small, so they don't roll very fast, and they're really, really slidey. So I would say like a 6 out of 10, like the, the urethane's really consistent and good, but they get really slidey and kind of scary to ride and they kind of hurt your feet because you're vibrating so much. 6 out of 10. Um, the bust and snipers were probably the scariest ones. They get this kind of like hourglassing shape. I like to call it Coney Joni, um, which basically makes it feel whack just to roll and turn and change your weight at all because you have these big fat lips that are kind of springy so they're probably like a three out of ten to core they're kind of scary actually um but we got them done so it's all right the urchins were amazing this is straight away 10 out of 10 wheeled core like seismic knows what's what they're doing um they have this really good core you can see it's like fully just core on that side but they have tons of urethane on this side so it, it, I don't know, just a really supportive core with really high quality urethane. So even when you were on the cores, you still have control and consistency. They just got really slidey. Um, yeah, 10 out of 10, can't rate these enough. Like coring these is a good time. <sighs> and then the last ones was these uh, blank wheel co. These weren't too bad to core today because we had chopped the lips off, but I spent like an hour or maybe even close to two hours at Reddish Knob just having the worst time trying to skate them down when they had their lips. So I guess like the last 15% of the wheel, terrible. But then if you cut the lips off, the last 2%, eh, it's kind of fun. Um, I'd probably give these ones like a four out of 10 for the coring experience. It was a bit scary. It wasn't good, but it wasn't terrifying. It wasn't the worst, but anyway, yeah. That's my brief little review of coring these wheels. And now you know if you want to core some of them as well. But yeah, if you like this video, hit that like button. That's what it's there for, you know. Feel free, let me know if it's good. Uh, if you enjoy these kind of videos, let me know in the, in the comments. I know I mostly do a lot of reviews like this type of stuff. But yeah, just comment down below if you liked it. If you enjoy my videos and you're not subscribed, consider doing that. It would mean a lot to me. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. This was a really fun video to make and a really fun day of skating. Looks like I'm ready for another row.